Hey guys, my name is Ul Brolo, and today we are going to be looking at some of the big things that Battlestate Games are planning for Escape from Tarkov, and some that they've already done in 2021. But before we get into the video guys, make sure you are subscribed to our channel for regular Escape from Tarkov content that will make you a better gamer. Then I want to start this video off with Battlestate Games stating that they've banned over 40,000 cheaters since the start of this year, and while it is great to see them fighting the problem, there's no avoiding the sad fact that this patch has been more filled with hackers than any other patch ever, and I can only hope that the developers are going to get this problem under control, as it's really hurting us as the community, and it makes maps like Labs unplayable at the moment. Then, continuing on, they will be implementing multiple small patches that will release in the near future, which will bring many small network improvements and AI fixes, which is pretty cool. They're also constantly working on the game's netcode to further reduce desync and lags, which will be very nice to see them implement these changes, as for me personally, the netcode is one of the biggest problems of Escape from Tarkov next to the cheater problem. Now, they are also working on the first quest regarding the main storyline, which is amazing to see and it shows that they are getting closer to the final release of Escape from Tarkov, even if it's still a couple years away. Then, the dev team have also started working on a movement inertia model, and at this point I can't tell you how that will actually affect the game's movement, but it does sound pretty cool and I'm very excited to see them implement it. Now, I want to talk about one of the coolest features that they're going to be implementing into the game, which is Scaf Gamma. I don't actually know how the system will work, but it will probably try to tone down the Scav on Scav violence that there is right now between player Scavs and players and Scavs. And it might make the game's environment a bit more friendly, which is very cool. And we'll of course have to see how they actually implement this and how the community reacts to this. But we already have PMC and Scav extracts, but sadly no one really uses them because Escape from Tarkov really is just a shoot on sight environment and people don't really try to use them unless they've been in a team before and one of the players scaved in again. Now, another point that they've mentioned in their dev vlog is an overhaul of sights and optics and we'll once again have to wait and see how this will affect the game. But I hope it'll be cool and I, if they're working on it, it sounds like it'll be cool. And then this year the dev team's focus will actually be mainly on improving the game's visuals, which also includes the implementation of the 2019 version of the game's Unity engine, which will bring new visual features and will just make the game look better, which is always cool to see. And then another addition that we've heard about is the factory scav boss and you know we have heard about this a couple times before but they've been saying that they've been working harder on it and it'll probably be coming in the next big update so it'll be a factory expansion together with the factory scav boss and probably the entrance to labs through factory then the dev block also mentions that they are working on a long list of audio fixes which is something that the community has been asking for for a long time and it's amazing to see the f developers finally getting to them. Yep. So guys I'd love to hear about your thoughts on these coming changes in the comments below and then finally I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video so please consider hitting the subscribe button and leaving some feedback it really goes a long way. And Good luck with your raids guys and don't get yourself too burnt out. Have a good one.